What is good guys? We are in Detroit. The number one worst city in all of America. Probably the most dangerous place you could probably pass by in all of America. We are at this abandoned high school, which is completely awesome. I mean, it is a Mediterranean style high school. It is so dope from the outside. I've seen pictures on this place. I've always wanted to get to Detroit because it's filled with abandonment, just like Gary but 10 times worse. It, this place is crazy. Coming up, we saw so much abandonment, so, so many things that, that just shouldn't have been left behind. This place really fell on really bad times. When the auto industry went downhill, this place really suffered very, very badly from that. This was a, this was a car town. This was where they made pretty much every American car. Pontiac was the biggest one around here trying to bring light to the situation that's over here trying to bring education to people that aren't from this neighborhood from this area or even know about this place so i'm just trying to shine a light and a positive light on what's going on here and just try to show everybody how how brutal it is out here how bad it actually got with all the you know all the bad economy situations that they ran into so that's what i'm trying to do here That wall art. Sick. Yo. So this is the auditorium of the school, which is pretty incredible, even though it's been completely burned down. 
you could still see some of the Mediterranean theming. It was a, this whole school was based on a Mediterranean revival, and you could see it on the outside and then inside this theater very well. I mean, this is absolutely one of the most amazing high school auditoriums I've ever seen. I would have liked to have seen it when it wasn't burned, but unfortunately, we didn't get to Detroit in time. This is definitely the most badly damaged school I've ever been inside of. Yeah, it's gotta be two gems. But watch out, this thing tells me it's caving in. Like some of the places I stepped, I thought it was gonna break. Yeah. Yeah, I like how this gym is, like the circle all the way around it there. Cool. Yo. It's like a cycling track right here. Looks like the roller derby. I think they ran bicycles around this. It's pretty cool. I thought it was seating. Sometimes it's like a track. But I don't think they ran on this because of these turns right here. It seems like it would be like for cycling. Blood water. There it goes deeper now. I don't think. Got a bad roof there. Nasty. And you can tell this is on fire also. This whole hallway was lit on fire.
This whole top floor is just taken in water because of that. That's the theater right there that was lit on fire. The fire was just blasting out into this hallway, which is why it's all charcoal. Everything is all black, sooted up. This must have been a huge fire. I mean, it had to have been a huge fire. It took out this massive auditorium. tell that at one point in time this is a pretty amazing library from all the woodwork to this big Thomas Cooley mural right here all the bookshelves everything it's all made out of wood really nice trim work really nice build very cool probably one of the most luxurious libraries I've ever been inside of as far as woodwork goes but yeah it's a shame to see this go to waste this is the kind of architecture that was in here. These marble archways. Extremely Mediterranean. So just like that, we go from an abandoned high school, which is completely ripped apart, to an abandoned radio station, which looks like it's completely ripped apart. Exactly what I thought. This place is completely stripped out. That's where all the radio boards were, all the computers, everything else that we've seen in the last radio station we explored together is no longer here. It all went to the neighborhood it looks like. That hole is where the board would have gone. We've seen those boards before. It just lays flat inside there and has all the mixers and the volume controls. That's usually where all the computers and the tape decks or cassette decks or records would go. There's a record right there. That's the only thing that I'm seeing that this radio station would have used. A couple of records around here. But you also see all the soundproofing that goes around this room. I kept this place nice and quiet while they recorded. But unfortunately, it looks like the neighborhood, like I said, got in here and made this radio station their own. Because there's not a mic, a board, nothing that resembles what we had seen in the last radio station we had been inside of.
Wow. That's a weird one. Yeah. I thought there'd be something cool in here. I want to find like a microphone or something. I don't think you're going to find any of that inside yeah, of there. This looks like it was a picture from downstairs in one of the classrooms that they had. Yeah. This place was a broadcasting uh, school. They used to do broadcasting educational classes, I guess, out of here. So this is probably one of the teachers and a couple of her students in this picture right here. Check out this you know? one, too. Yeah, they probably graduated. Got a lot of dust on it. Yeah. So we are now inside of Studio 2, which seems to be the only intact studio in this whole entire radio station. I'm not sure who broadcasts it out of this studio right here, or I'm not sure who broadcasts it out of this entire radio station, but at least it's intact. And we got to see some of what they were dealing with, and we didn't have to deal with broken glass and all that stuff. But yeah, this is really the only intact room in this whole entire building. It has really been ransacked, vandalized, and scrapped. Which you can't really blame the neighborhood because if they're going to leave something like this, you know, and people aren't doing well economically, then this is what's going to happen. So this is all par for the course, I guess, for this neighborhood. But yeah, we are in Studio 2 right now, which has the most history, which is very little at this point. These are tags to tell the radio host what to do. There's 15 minutes to a commercial. There was a call on line too. I'm sure they used to hold them up through these windows right here and let everybody know that was in here, what it was that was coming up. Nice. We finally found some semblance of a board system. No board. No computers, but at least we got this. We do have that. Something to look at. Still very cool. Looks like it's way older than the last one that I saw. I've never seen one of those before. It looks like it might print something out. I'm not exactly sure. It has like handles on the top of it. I'm not sure what that machine does. If anybody out there does, leave me a comment. Let me know what that is. I'd like to know what that is. So, I kind of figured out what it was. 
it says dimmer board capacity is lighting so I'm figuring that these handles much like in an auditorium would dim the lights and this probably gave colors it's probably colored lights and things like that inside of a booth let's see if we can find out where that goes to because there is a window right here and they must have been looking through it to the other side while they were recording something oh wow so it's just a big recording studio it looks like I figured one time they used to just record and the guy used to work the lights and the boards through this window right here it is completely annihilated at this point that actually looks kind of like a half pipe a skateboard ramp if nobody knows what a half pipe is actually does look like that but it's not it's a wall There should be another board behind that glass over there. Let's see what's on the other side of that. Alright. This is the other side of that glass right there. To another completely torn apart and scrapped radio station. So we're now inside of an abandoned church. This one's actually pretty amazing. From the outside, I thought it'd be a lot more beat up on the inside. And while it is pretty beat up, it still has all the stained glass intact here, which is a rarity. Usually that's the first thing to go is the stained glass. But whoever came in here and vandalized this place, like they did, had respect for the stained glass which is actually pretty good because you can't find people that can make stained glass nowadays. It is very, very rare that you find somebody that can blow glass and or make stained glass. So it's a, it's a, it's a lost art form at this point. So yeah, this is a pretty amazing church. Even if you look above me right here, see these murals all over the ceiling here? Pretty good artwork. Pretty spectacular stuff. I'm actually digging this church. This is a really well-rounded explore here of Detroit. We have a school, a radio station, a church. Gonna get some neighborhood shots and things like that. Insert them in here. But yeah, this is there's there's a little bit of everything here in Detroit, which is it's it, we always knew it was amazing for abandoned, but I didn't know it was gonna be this abandoned. I've never been in a town where there's been so much abandonment on every single corner you find a zombie house here you find an abandoned factory here an abandoned storefront there it is absolutely amazing how poor this town is and it's absolutely sad at how poor this town is that everything is just going into shambles Thank you. 
One of the major reasons why Detroit went under and it fell into such a depression is because international car sales were a little bit cheaper and they thrived over here in America when oil prices started to go up and gasoline prices started to go up. Now this factory went out of business pretty much due to that. It's actually a pretty sad sight because it is a massive factory. I have actually never seen one this big. And the old sign right there for that breezeway that's going across this road is absolutely incredible. I actually love the sight of the decay and, the, and everything that's just going on with this factory. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour of the abandonment around Detroit. This place is filled with abandoned spots. It's like, a, it's like an urbex playground, that's all I could say. There's a bunch of different things. Today we saw a school, a radio station, a church, and this Packard factory. This is absolutely amazing. This is one of the biggest abandoned factories in all of America with one of the biggest older car companies that fell under. This has been a really awesome explore. It is kind of a bucket list thing. I always wanted to get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you at the next spot. Peace.